Well, investigators confirmed yesterday that beloved actor and comedian Robert, Robin Williams hanged himself inside his Northern California home. He had been suffering from depression. A Maryland-based mobile mental health IT company has developed a new app to save patients from tragic deaths like Williams. And joining me now with more on this app is the company's clinician director, Larry Gordine. Good to see you, Larry. Good morning. Good morning, and thanks for coming in. And as we saw with uh, Robin Williams' death this week, mm -hmm. Clinical depression is very serious. It can be fatal. Your company has this new app, and it tests a person's mental health. Tell us how it works. Yes, exactly. Um, well, you know, one of the great challenges in mental health, uh, first of all, there's no health without mental health. And one of the great challenges is being able to assess individual and patients um, in a validated way um, in an easy-to-use um, application. And um, so leading researchers uh, led by Dr. Bob Post and others have developed this uh, new tool um, that both in the office and on an individual basis can quickly assess mood and anxiety disorders across the continuum. So it is a, a, a kind of a Q&A test? Yes. 27 it's, questions? It's a 27 questions. Takes a couple of minutes to do. What are, what Three are some to five the, minutes. Like what, what's the question? Well, you know, mental health and uh, mood and anxiety disorders oftentimes manifest as uh, somatic type symptoms. You know, it looks at, you know, changes in sleeping habits, changes in eating habits, um, changes in mood. Uh, so those are some mm -hmm. of the key questions. So how are you sleeping on a scale of one to five? Yeah, uh, right there, that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now on on, on a from one day to another, a person mm -hmm. suffering from um, mental illness or mm -hmm. depression. Uh, they might feel a little better one day, a little worse one day. Does this, uh, the, the assessment gives you a number. Does that number fluctuate? Right. Uh, essentially, they look at the, over the last two weeks. So they look for consistent um, uh, display of certain symptoms. Mm -hmm. And what is unique about this particular tool is that it's been validated against a standard uh, which can actually give you a number which is an indicator of overall mental wellness. And what do we do with this number once we get it? Well, what you do with this number, I would go see your doctor and, and share that with your uh, physician and then and, and use that to then monitor yourself over time. And your, 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 the name of this is M3 Clinician? Yeah, the name of the tool is M3 Clinician and that's the tool that's being used by the providers. The app uh, for the consumer is What's My M3, which can be downloaded. Is it in widespread use yet? Do uh, many yes. doctors have this uh, um, at their disposal? Clearly not enough doctors yet, but it is the word is getting out, and it's this kind of opportunity that would allow us to really get this in the hands of clinicians, particularly primary care clinicians. And you feel this could actually lead to a reduction in health care costs down the road? Oh, absolutely. Uh, no question about it. Uh, what is interesting is probably not as well known is that there's a direct link between mental illness and chronic disease. In fact, it doubles the cost of all your major diseases. Very interesting. Larry Gordine with the company uh, M3 Clinician based in Rockville. Thanks so much, Larry. Thank you.